Hi, DG Dino here from Jinx Games. Uh, this video is for uh, for the forum uh, on this topic, and I make this video because I think it's more easier to explain in this way than um, than in text. So let's get started. Now, first thing I did, I made a simple capsule with some movements for my character. And then I have a second FSM. And this holds my uh, trigger events and fade. So in the first state, I have my own trigger enter. When it enter, it goes here to this state and it's getting the material color. Um, the reason I get the material color first is I will show when I'm going in and out and when the color is halfway uh, the it's gonna start from that uh, moment of the, the color of the alpha instead of starting from zero so that's why I'm doing that I will show you in a second then I have the color interpolate to uh, do the color animation then I have the set material color to set my color with the color animation and I have this on every frame and then I have my trigger event um, what I also don't have here is a finish event so it just uh, continues so it's gonna wait until this trigger will be uh, exited then when it exit I'm gonna unfade so first I'm getting the material color the current color it is then again the color interpolate uh, set material color also here I don't have a finish event and I have my trigger on trigger enter here so here is on trigger exit and here on trigger enter so let's play this so I'm walking and I'm going in and it's fading out and now I'm walking out and also if I'm going halfway it goes just smoothly back to the color now um, one disadvantage in this way it is it's set up is that um, even I'm not uh, triggering entering or exiting this set material color is gonna stay setting the color in every frame so I made a different system also and I will show you that now so I have again here one FSM with my character movement then I have my listener and so I have here my on trigger enter and when it's triggered I'm gonna send an event and the event is going to send to this FSM and I will show you in a moment that so and then it goes here going to wait for the trigger exit when it exit it's going to send again an event so this one is going to send a fade event and this is going to send an unfade now I have my fade here so on fade I have a get material color uh, again for this uh, smooth uh, color changing then again a col color interpolate and set material color but now I have finished on my uh, color interpolator and it's gonna idle so let me play this and when I walk in it's triggering the fade and when it's finished it's idling when I walk out it's unfade and when I do this in between before it's finished it's still gonna trigger these uh, events and uh, important is for these events so you can right click and then add global transitions that will uh, place them on top and when they are on top you can uh, send any time any place so even where your state is at the moment it will always jump here and there is I will show you there is a, 
a tutorial here on the user tutorial tutorial page explaining better here for the global events and transitions so you can uh, check this out uh, to understand more how this works so well I hope this helped you out and um, thanks for watching bye bye